Welcome to Masa's Kitchen with Music. Today, I'll be showing you how to make a killer bread, the kind of bread that you would drive miles for and gladly paying $10, $12 per loaf for. Hi, my name is Masa. I am a musician by trade, but I'm very passionate about cooking. At the end of the show, I'll be performing a live music for you, so please stick around. Before we get started, I'd like to show you a couple of items that you would need. First item is cast iron Dutch oven. Pretty heavy, but um, this retains heat, and, and this is very important for um, making a great bread without having bread baking oven or wood fired oven like back in Italy. And another item is digital scale. Baking bread is like a science class, science project, and you would need a precise measurements for weight in grams. So uh, please get these handy and here we get started. Here are all the ingredients. There are only four. Bread flour, high gluten flour, kosher salt, lukewarm water, and dry yeast. This flour weighs exactly 500 grams. And salt weighs exactly 2% of the weight of the flour, which is 10 grams. And water, this weighs 375 grams exactly, which is 75% of the weight of the flour. And this is half a teaspoon of uh, dry yeast. And it comes to about 0.5% more or less. And uh, everything is a percentage of how much flour there is. And we're gonna throw everything in a pile and then mix it. And go ahead and mix it with a with hand. So it's gradually coming together. It's a very wet, messy pile of flour and all the other ingredients put together. Okay, that's just about good enough. And I am going to put a plastic wrap over it, fairly airtight, and let it rest for about eight hours or so. By the way, this is the brand of dry yeast that I trust the most. Saf Instant, and it never fails to make a great bread. So this is the one that I just uh, put together moments ago. And here is the one that's been kind of resting for the past several hours, eight hours or so. And how you can see um, volume is maybe three times as much. And then it smells very nice. Kind of sweet, kind of typical bread smell before it's being cooked. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take out the dough out of the bowl and I'm going to knead it a little bit. Kind of stretch and then fold, stretch and fold. And then roughly making it into a bowl and that's the final shape for the bread roughly. And then after that 
I am going to let it sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. I am lightly flowering the surface. Drop the dough right on it. It is very sticky. Stretch, fold, turn the other way, and just keep repeating. Uh, when I do this, the gluten in the flour will start activating, start to activate, and it gets kind of stiff. So now I am stretching the outside to the underneath and then tucking it inside constantly. So this part is getting stretched and then kind of rolled on the underside. So if you look at the underside, there's a little bit of a dimple. And here's a Benetton. So this dough will rest in there. I am putting a little bit of a rice flour so that it doesn't stick on the inside. I'm dropping this dough right in here. Um, the dimple side down. And wrap it with a kitchen towel for about 30 to 45 minutes. Here's the dough that I just prepared and then this is the dough which has been resting for about 45 minutes. You can kind of see the uh, this has been proofed quite well and then this is ready to get in the oven. The oven's been heating over an hour at 500 degrees with a cast iron Dutch oven in it. And then this will go right in there and then cook in the oven. Here's the cast iron Dutch oven. And actually I'm gonna use the top side to drop the dough right in it. And here it is, quite beautiful. This will go into the oven and make sure you turn down the heat to 450 degrees. And I'm gonna set the timer at 15 minutes. At that time, I am going to take it out and take the lid off. By cooking in a Dutch oven, the steam from the dough is trapped within and that moisture makes the crust really crunchy. So it's been 15 minutes so it's time to take out the bread from the oven and remove the lid. It is. And back in the oven without the lid for another 30 minutes.
good one. Here it is. Beautiful specimen. Um, I won't be able to cut into this bread until it cools off, like two hours or more. So I have previously made bread that I can show you how this turned out. You can hear how crunchy the crust is. It's quite beautiful. I'm gonna slice a tiny bit of it and have a little piece. I don't think this can get any better than this. So, as I promised before, it's time for music, live music. So, let me get set up. I'll be right back.
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe on YouTube. See you next time.